YouTube and welcome to this channel. Uh, this tutorial is intended to be the continuation of the last two tutorials that we had on the electrostatic uh, application and uh, here we have our simulations ready and we, we finished the simulation. It took like less than two minutes on my computer so probably it will be the same for you guys as well. And um, first thing first is uh, to basically see the resolution of your uh, uh, circuit. I mean application. So what you can do is you can go ahead and um, first of all, um, I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the face selection. So I press O uh, in order to select the objects. And uh, after I select the objects, I can uh, uh, select uh, hide selected objects in active view. So that will get rid of this region that we have. Uh, it's just the, for the purpose of simulation so we don't need to care about that that much and then you can press uh, Control and A and that will basically select everything except the region and now that we all selected all the materials that we have in this um, in this application we can go and say plot the mesh uh, and that will be the mesh for all of uh, all the stuff that we have and uh, that gives us a very nice view of what we have uh, in our uh, in our design so the mesh quality is the most important things that you want to uh, taken care of and as you can see that the mesh quality inside the, uh, the box with the high resolution is pretty higher than the other parts of the system and uh, that is just to give us a high resolution uh, uh, basically uh, fields and uh, it's which is very necessary for us uh, but then we don't need to do for all of the parts we just do it for uh, the fields on there uh, on that part now let's look at the fields that we have select the box uh, high resolution box uh, we can actually get rid of the, the the mesh that we have. You just click on the all and just say plot visibility. Uncheck that so you wouldn't be able to see the mesh anymore. And uh, you can bring it back whenever you want though. Um, so now what you can do is you can uh, select the basically high resolution box and uh, you can go and look at the magnitude. Uh, so you go to the fields and you go to the E and then you say magnitude of E. And uh, basically and you can also plot only on the surface so you basically see what the magnitude of E looks like on the surface of this design. As you can see here um, we have a pretty much uh, let me just uh, control D to fit everything into your design so we have a very good uh, uh, representation of what the magnitude of E would look like um, around this area again this box doesn't have anything it just shows that the E in the middle of this disk looks like this okay very very nice and very perfect okay so uh, one other thing that you can see is you can see also the magnitude of the of the E but inside this box to do that you can uh, either uh, double click on the E or basically uh, say modify um, actually that is not gonna help you you right click on the magnitude of E and then you go to the modify plot and uh, huh. uh, in the in the older version you cannot change it here so we have to do again so we basically go let me first uh, get rid of this visibility select the box go to the field go to E magnitude of E and this time do not select on plot on the surface and, um, and basically just select done and th that will give you the, the E inside our uh, basically case which is pretty pretty nice and um, if you just select that it will also uh, transparent the other part so you can basically see how the E goes um, uh, inside this, um, this region. As we expect we should have higher E uh, when we add up all these uh, guys together. Uh, <coughs> we can also see uh, the magnitude uh, or the voltage if you want um, on the different uh, surfaces that we have. So one thing we can do is we can uh, basically um, select the XY uh, global uh, pl plane and so that's that's the plane and when you select that plane it will only uh, plot everything on this plane so uh, when you select this plane and uh, then you can go and uh, in the menu select the voltage uh, so uh, Maxwell 3D excitation uh, sorry fields uh, and then you can go for voltage and uh, you just leave it like that and just say done 
and that will give you um, a sense of how the voltage looks like. Let me get rid of the, the plot on the top and then you can be able to see how the voltage would look like. Okay, so that's how the voltage looks like. Um, uh, as you can see, we have negative and, and positive. Negative 10, uh, which is uh, blue, and then positive 10 for the, for, the, for the other ones. Okay. Uh, if you want to change the attribute, attribute, you can either right click on the voltage and, sorry, right click on the voltage here and say modify attributes, or you can just double click on the legends here and you can go and change the attributes. Um, I want to change, for example, the attributes how you're representing this, and you can go and make it to be um, like line, and that way you can see the voltages in like different lines of the isotropic lines. And uh, depends on how you want to present uh, the design, the, 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 the results, you can actually change the attributes. And also, if you want to uh, have uh, animation, animated uh, fields, you can do that as well. Um, you right click on the voltage one and you go to uh, animate and uh, and then you can uh, select a normalized distance and then you can uh, start sweeping that from 0 to uh, 1 and in 10 steps so then you can basically see how the fields will look like in different distances we can actually make this animation more interesting by um, deleting that and saying that I, I want to go all the way to 15. Oh, sorry, 2. Although this is normalized distance, so that means that it's maximum that you can go. So basically, it does look a bit different than. Uh, If you, if you make it like this, I think you can get a better sense of the animation. So it will basically go all the way up and show you how the fields will distribute, as you can see, how the voltages will be distributed. Okay, perfect. So that will conclude our tutorials on this uh, particular uh, tutorial. And uh, we can also go and uh, export uh, the voltage value into a text file. Uh, to do that, you can basically right click on the overlay and go and open up the calculator. Uh, in the input, you can go and select the voltage and uh, on the select the output and basically export the voltage values and uh, for the different. Uh, so you can call it a name, for example, test. And, uh, and then calculate the grid, you can basically say minus one. Uh, so that would be uh, the grid that <coughs> uh, we can have. It's a uniform grid and it can be used for the other simulator later on to use your uh, voltages. And uh, simple like that, as soon as you press OK, um, it will be saved and uh, it will be all into the file that we just uh, saved. Thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions, please leave the questions underneath the, the relevant videos. If you have a personal, if you need a personal support, uh, I would uh, do that for a premium uh, charges per hour. So if you like to do that and you need to do, you have some designs that you need to be done, um, you can send it to my email and uh, I can, uh, we can go forward from that point. Uh, thanks for watching.